My mom's still thug in this world is a war zone. My homies is inmates and most of them dead gone. My mom's still thug in this world is a war zone. My homies is inmates and most of them dead gone. What's going on with your King Net TV here today? With let them know who you are, my brother. Joseph Madden, aka Madman. Madman, where you from, brother? Richmond, California. How was it growing up in Richmond? Oh man, you know, life could be hard for some, but for me, it wasn't too bad. I loved it. It was a, a lovely experience. A lot of people had hard times. You know, we've I had hard times, but foremost, it was a learning experience. Learning experience. Okay, okay. So you spent most of your life in Richmond, and then from there, where did you go to? I didn't spend most of my life in Richmond. Oh, okay. I spent a quarter of my life in Richmond. Okay, in Richmond, California. Where'd you spend the rest of your life? Everywhere. 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 So you got siblings? I got four siblings. Okay, okay. What what was growing up with how was growing up with four siblings, man? Wasn't bad at all. It was more or less this is how a man should be. This is what men do. Well, man, so you got brothers, older sisters, brother. one older brother, and all the rest sisters. All the rest sisters. So oh, that's that's what's up, man. That's what's up. So, what influenced you growing up? Was you into hip hop, skateboard, and sports? What what did you get into growing Played up? Played sports all my life. Okay, what sports did you play? Football, baseball. Football, baseball. You ran track. I ran track. I ran track. Yeah, I did. I, I played soccer. I did a lot of sports. I played a lot of sports. I had fun growing up through high school and whatnot. Straight up. How was your so life was fun pretty much growing up. Grew up, played sports, everything was good. So I noticed that you got your businesses on the table. You know what I mean? Yes, what sir. businesses you got going on, man? And that's really what we came to talk to you about because I, I know you got a few successful businesses that you operating right now you know what i mean you want to enlighten us on what those are man we got all american exotic dogs all american exotic dogs we got all american grill all american grill and we got all american bounce houses and party supplies you dogs you got the food truck and you got the bounce houses yes. and they all operating successfully right yes. you got the office we here you know conducting the situation at your office i mean so what does it feel like being the CEO of all these businesses, man, you know, and and having successful companies operating, you know, you said life was good growing up, but we're going to touch on some of the shit that wasn't so good because I know you've been incarcerated, you know what I'm talking about. I know, you, you, you know, you unfortunately become a statistic because we've talked off camera about the situation, you know what I'm saying? And I want to get into some of that, you know, how you went from some a, a negative situation and turned it so positive. You know what? <laughs> The coldest thing is, I love what I do, so I don't work harder. I work smarter. That part. I work to do what I like and exactly. love. Exactly. And that's what life is all about. When you're doing something you love, it's really not considered work. I, I'm not. I'm not. I don't need money from nobody. I don't need anything from anybody. Residual income is a daily thing. Right. You know, I, I practice in affirmation. I, you know, I, I I don't pray to a, a specific individual. You know, right. I believe in God. I believe that there's a higher power, but I do know one thing. I am a God. That part. So that part. I'm not confused on who I am, and that's why I have what I have. The real, real story from getting it out the mud. I haven't even had this two years yet. Not even two years. You know, it, it took me 40 years to get what I got. That part. 40 years. It took my life. Your life. Oh. And with that being said, I see you, you got the trait, man. Tell them how you got that. What happened yeah, this, with that? This, this is my fourth life. Your fourth. This is my fourth life. Fourth life. I'm on my fourth <laughs> life right now. Your fourth life. Yeah, yeah, I got three previous lives. Straight up. And I can name every one of them and what's happened to me and the things that I've done and what took that life. Man, experience what? after that and where I'm where I am now. Talk to us about the life, man. Explain these lives and what happens after this life. Course, with that being said, the question was like, what happened to me with the trait. With the I blew myself up making ash oil. I thought I was doing something that I could make a lot of money because I seen a lot of people doing it and I had a big water to fill. Right. I was given a method and I did I went outside the method. I thought I could do something better than what I was taught. Right. Which was something that I knew that I wouldn't get injured if 
I continued to do what I was taught, I right. wouldn't. I, my life wouldn't be in danger. Right. But I caused this to myself because I went outside the box. Like I said, I did something that I shouldn't have done, and I blew the house up. When you say you blew the house up, like, damn, man, you blew the house up. You was in the house, obviously. And what, what the, what, what was the injuries like? You I was see? on my fourteenth can of butane times ten. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was on that unimpured, whatever they say, they don't have none of that. It's supposed to be the purest butane you can yeah. use, but you yeah. know, no, either yeah, way yeah. go, butane is highly volatile. Yeah. So I was on my 14th can. I hear, Zip. I look around because I seen a flash when I thought somebody was taking a picture of me through the window, but it wasn't a window. Damn. Yeah, I blew the windows out. Damn. Wall cave out. Cave in, fall out, or whatever you want to call it. You know, I look on the ground, blood everywhere. I got meat hanging all off my arms. I was in shock. You was in shock. That was the last thing you remember? No. I ran out the, I ran out the room. And when I ran out the room, I told my wife to get the kids and get out the house because the house went on fire, but it wasn't. Damn. Yeah, so. It was a quick detail just started. Yeah, basically. that was the last thing I remember. Being in the shower, I told her to. Take my belt off. She tried to unstrap my belt, and everything just fell off me anyway because it was, I vaporized myself. So, damn. Um, I remember I seen you in the situation you was in. It's a, it's a blessing to see you here right now. You know what I mean? Because third I, degree burns. Third degree. 69.9% of my body surface. Everything. Everything. It's a blessing, man. It's a great blessing. And the healing process. Well, no. I want to talk because you told I'm me still something. Healing. You're still I'm healing. I'm still healing. That part. Still healing. From 19, it's been nine years. From 2000, excuse me, 2014, January 5th, the beginning of the year, 2014. He's still healing. So. Reggie told me this to happen. Damn it. He said I was next. Damn it. One of my best friends. <laughs> he said I was next. Everybody then had something happen to them besides me when it came down to that. But at that particular time, it was because I ain't never been shot or nothing like You know what I'm saying? I ain't been stabbed. So he, that's, yeah, we was talking about having a breakfast. Oh, and yeah, was, you... We was talking about what then happened to people other than that. I never talked about my death experiences. I talked about, no. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've never been all. shot. I ain't never been stabbed. I came from getting ran over a car accident and blowing myself up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, the healing, I remember you, you was down, man. Um, you was in a coma for a minute, man. I was in a coma for like two and a half weeks. Yeah, two and a half weeks. Yeah. Wow. Do you remember anything from that time? I went to heaven. Right up. What was it like? Heaven. A learning experience, something. It was great. It was like being back in your mother's womb. Because I remember when you woke up, we was all happy. And you was That's crying. Cool. Do you know what being in your mother's womb, you know how comfortable that is? I couldn't imagine that. That's like the bosom of Abraham. Ooh, that's a good one. Abraham's bosom? Yes. Basically. So good. The finest feeling. It was the finest feeling, you know, and uh, everything was so vivid. I never got to see the creator, but I heard all the birds chirp. Even the flowers and the roses and the trees spoke. You know, they all had their own tone, put it that way. That was the music that was played. Wow. I'm on a river of life. Flowing towards the throne, not from the throne, but I never got there. Or maybe I was going from the throne, and that's how when everything went out when I came back. <laughs> you know, because the river of life the, was supposed to be flowing from the throne. Mm -hmm. Not so. Why I never met the Creator because I was leaving from going back to where I was supposed to be, and that's what hurt the most because I honestly was at so much at ease, so. Peace at peace to where, why even be alive on earth? 
when I'm at this piece. Wow. This feeling I got, I'll never get again if I'm not here. That's how you felt. I didn't understand. You couldn't talk really, but you woke up, you were crying, and I'm like, man, what the hell? That's because I think that was when I came back, man. It was when you came back, yeah. That's wild. That's wild. And after that, so you said, you know, the situation actually didn't happen, making wax. So you still had consequences to face after that. Of course. So you end up in the state penitentiary after that? Yes. With your injury? Yes. Did they treat you special? Was you well? It was eighteen. It was eighteen months after. Eighteen, but still, you still I healing the case to this for day. eighteen months. So they were trying to wait until I was healed enough mm. in order to send me up the river. Right. So for that eighteen months, my wife at the time she wiped my ass for me because I couldn't do it myself. So she took care of me like she was supposed to. Yeah, straight up for that eighteen months, and then now when you go in. They give you, what, 18 months? Four years with half. So I'm supposed to do 24 months. The year that I was convicted, they actually passed a law where nonviolent criminals get 33.3%. So halftime offenders actually get a little bit more time off. Wow. I should have done 16 months. I tried to manipulate the system and go to a hospice. When they found that out, because I was causing problems at the hospice, you know, they were doing, <laughs> yeah, they were doing things to people they shouldn't have been doing. I was speaking up because of the stuff I was seeing. Yeah. So they was like, okay, let's do more research. He got the security in here anyway. These sheriffs in here, he chained to them uh, to the bed frame. So he's here for a reason. Let's get him up out of here. He's causing too much trouble for us anyway. Straight up, straight up, straight up. Speaking up for people that came for their own. Right, right. And you at the time was injured yourself, though. You was going through it yourself. I brought that on myself. Right, right. I dig it. I dig it. So how was the, the experience of going to jail in, in your condition? Like, was it a situation? I know you were nervous, but did what? It wasn't about being nervous. It was about survival. Survival. Yeah, and survival, it has something to do with your mental. Not physical, not what you can do physically, but what you can do mentally because with the mental, you can overcome and achieve anything. Straight up. You can only do so much physically. And how long did it have you have, have you down? It had me down for 17 months, sir. Damn, 17 months. You get out, when you get out from that, I know, you know, feel like a new world. What spawned the business creation? What made you say, okay, man, I got to do something different? Seeing you, 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 you was always a motivator. You always motivated me. You always showed me that, you know, there's a lot of things that we can do outside of the things we've always done and we just grew up doing. So right. my first entity I ever had was with you. And that, and, and that was a learning experience. Everything is a learning experience. And it, I, and I loved it Straight up. because when you grow, you learn how to be humble. Yeah. If you if you don't, you'll be a fool all your life. Fool all your damn life. That part, that part, and part of the growth process is what I tell a lot of people who listening. You got two ears and one mouth for a reason. You should listen twice as much as you're talking. You might learn something. That's something my pop dressing people always told me, man. And I learned from you. You know what I'm saying? We learn from each other because still sharp and still. And that's why I want you to get on here and tell your story and talk to the people and, and let them know, you know, this is not even from tragedy comes triumph, but it's been triumph the whole time because you never even recognize the it. The whole tragic. time through my life has been tragic, but I don't look at it like that. That's I look what I'm at saying. It it's been triumph experience. the whole it's time. Triumph. Yeah. I'm still here. That part, you're still here. You're still pushing. Where's your businesses located out of, Sam? Fresno, California. So you're located out of Fresno, California. And once again, let them know which businesses, if they're checking for you, what they can do. Oh, man, can. We, we, we got exotic dogs. You know what I'm saying? We got dogs from anywhere you can think of. I'm talking about Spain. I'm talking about Britain. And I'm talking about the best American. That's mm -hmm. because... Now we got the bloodlines from these particular places. We could breed, breed them in America. So now they're all American. But uh, okay. British Bulldogs, we got Cane Corsos, Double okay. XL Bullies, okay. Frenchies, and Pocket Bullies as well. 
And then you got the We got the All American Grill. We got a food trailer that sells specialties. Foods that you can't buy from any other food truck because they don't have what we have, sir. You ever had a ribeye burger? Oh, yes, you have. You had a You know, I supplied some of my leaks with the other one we worked Bounce with. houses and party supplies. I guarantee you don't nobody have what we have when it comes down to prices. We'll get yeah. it to you. We're like the type of people that uh, you call us and you can get a quote mm -hmm. and it's cheaper. Yeah. We might not be able to beat that quote. <laughs> So, but, but I guarantee you, we'll be able to get and have for the price that you pay and be satisfied. Trust and believe. All American bounce houses and party slides will deliver for you, get you there, sanitized, safe. No questions asked about how much the delivery fees because they're free. Straight up, straight up. Okay. And y'all online? How do we find we find you online? Instagram, Facebook. You okay. can look us up online. Find out all about the LLCs and what we uh, provide and certain things we do. We do have one thing we do do is once a month we do do daily. We donate as far as catering. Okay. We don't donate no dogs, but we do donate as far as party supplies. With all that being said, what would the old you? Say to the young you, like, what would you right now, knowing that you got all the stuff going on right now, say to the young you that was going through hell? Don't do it. Don't do it? Don't do it. All the decisions, all the, you know, the uh, trying to be, you know, something that you can never be instead of being yourself. You know what I'm saying? There, there's people that try to be things that's not them. You know, you once what once you figure out. I mean, you can be anything you want to be, but what I'm saying is, you got to always be you. You can never change Straight from up. being you. You grow into your finest. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. to have downfalls with people, right? There's people that will let you down. You will let yourself down sometimes, but you got to keep pushing and never give up. That's the thing. You're not a failure until you give up. Once yeah. you stop trying, that's when you fail. <laughs> uh, straight up. Well, with that being said, man, uh, any shout outs you want to give or any any um any special messages you want to say? I mean, anything you want to talk about? All the way up I, out of here. You know, I, I want to give a great thanks. You know, for you being able to come to the office and interview me and spread the news about how I've experienced certain life. I'm experiencing my lifestyle. Uh, very, very interesting because I do what I want. Straight up. And you can only do what you want. You know, I'm not financially free quite yet. I'm almost there. And I'll be there by the end of the year. You're on your way it's, it's, I got a couple more months. Straight How about up. that? I got a couple more months. Cause never stop. Never give up. I want to thank you. Like I said, because right you've up. been an inspiration in my life. Man, you know, I, I want to thank Big Jim. Right up. I want to thank Nephew. Right up. I want to thank individuals that you would never even believe that's in my life and been consistent as far as doing what they do. And hopefully you will continue to uh, succeed and be prosperous because that's what you've been doing. And love is nothing but a life experience of joy. Right Life is what you make it, like the man said. It ain't a box of chocolates. Let's believe that. Right about what you make it well. Yeah. Hey. A box of chocolates ain't what you make it. A box of chocolates is given to you. You got to like what it is. That part. Well, I'm going to tell you this, man. I appreciate you sitting down with us. We're going to definitely have to do this again. This is part one. We're going to have to do this again and go even further in depth. And we can talk about my other three lives. That part. That part. Well, with that being said, man, I appreciate it. It's all up. All up. All we up. out of here.